As you look at the stars, Mina, at night time, spirits, that are drums. It don't matter if it's hand drum, big drum. It's a, it, in us, in, in our language and in our culture, we continue to believe that, that that's a grandfather <laughs> spirit, along with the grandmother spirit. They tell us that the drum actually comes from the womanhood, from the woman's side. There's stories, legends behind the drum. Where did it come from? about the rich cultures, traditions, and histories of the indigenous peoples. Let us ensure that the stories of the children who never came home are heard and acknowledged so that their suffering was not in vain. Let their memory inspire us all to work tirelessly towards reconciliation and a better future. Today is not about shaming. Let's let's put that out there right now. Today is not about shaming Canada. We have a lot to lot to be proud of. I agree. But at the same time, we are here to recognize and, and, and understand there's a bigger picture here. 
I believe we have both grown the indigenous population and the non-indigenous population. Canada. We say Kanata, clean, clean land, clean earth. I was asked the elders many times, where did the word Canada come from, the word the country? They said, when the elders back then were signing the treaties, they would speak Cree or the languages wherever the treaties were being signed. Kanata. And the word Canada was was kind of interpreted that way. That was one of the stories, just one of them. Go down the misty path The one made my hands long dead Thinking of you 
reconciliation part of it. Coming together and understanding each other. Getting to know each other. Uh, because uh, First Nation people are not, have not been understood very well in the past. So I, uh, I just want to say that this is a, this is a wonderful thing that uh, Portage College is doing. So with that, we're going to ask the, uh, the drummers to sing a French traditional song. And with that, we'd like to uh, ask you to, to keep an eye on his, on his footsteps, his footwork. Dancers here today, showing us uh, a little bit, uh, some about their uh, their footsteps and the way they perform, and it all tells a story of uh, how we uh, get our movements and our uh, from the animals. Resilience is always good. <laughs> Pride is a huge thing after everything you endured and everything you've been through. Pride is a, a huge thing to have. So we have a lot of pride here in the community of Lac La Bichar School. Uh, us Métis, where we're brothers to our European ancestors and we're brothers to our First Nation uh, ancestors. So. We take pride in that, and this here is our pride and joy. This is the Red River Jig, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank my mother, who found her strength to share her stories, as she is a survivor of residential school. When we talk about energy and feelings reverberating through you when you hear something like that, something powerful that comes from the heart, comes from the soul, that's a clear example of that. And I want to thank Soul for bringing her gift of song to us. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end up, we're going to end with a round dance from the singers, round dance song. Yeah.